A North Asheville mother has a lot of questions tonight for city leaders after used syringes were found in her neighborhood. Her concern, who would be accountable if her five-year-old was hurt by the biohazard? News 13 Samir Nefsi talked with her tonight about the alarming changes she's seeing in her neighborhood. In Buncombe County, you'll find biohazard bins just like this one. They're part of the county's harm reduction program. And last year, the county health department noticed an increase in returned needles. However, residents say they're still a problem. Along Edwin Place in North Asheville. It's really a charming neighborhood. It's a great place to live. But that charming neighborhood is concerned after the discovery of two used syringes. This was very concerning um, for us because I have a five-year-old. He could have easily picked up these needles. It's not the first time a parent has raised concerns about syringe litter. I'm scared for the kids. I'm scared for somebody to get hurt or somebody to be exposed to some kind of disease. In February of last year, around 10 syringes were found at a school bus stop in Asheville. I have been hearing about these issues spreading from the different neighborhoods in the city. So to hear that it's reached here is really disheartening. I'm concerned about that because, uh, you know, that's not good for people that have a lot of children in the area. It's a concern that led Vanessa King to sending both the Asheville mayor and city council this letter, which points out the rising level of homeless people migrating into her neighborhood and open drug use happening in the community. Where is the accountability so that if needles do show up in dumpsters areas or outside of my house, who who's accountable for that? This year, the city plans to launch a biohazard litter collection program. It focuses on addressing biohazard litter like needles, feces, and drug paraphernalia. That's thanks to a $200,000 ARPA fund. We hear the term harm reduction a lot, and although I empathize and I, I do understand um, this is, you know, a very complex issue around addiction. I would ask harm reduction for whom? Certainly not um, for potentially the kids in our community when they're handing out those needles. Now we work to get answers tonight from city leadership. The city of Asheville mayor writing in a statement, quote, the city and city council is working hard to address this multifaceted crisis, end quote. Mayor Esther Manheimer pointing to the city's 60 day initiative that starts May 1st. She believes that could help address the litter problem. In the past, the city has worked with the Western North Carolina AIDS Project and Steady Collective to assist with the collection of syringe litter. An APD spokesperson says this is not something the department routinely responds to. We also reached out to the health department for a comment. We're waiting to hear back. I'm Samir Nafsi, News 13.